because the roots of the sprouts are already well established. The first few months of a redwood's life is critical. Only about one in a million redwoods survive this stage to become a mature tree. Many of them fall prey to animals of the forest or will die if there is not enough water. However, once a redwood does survive this stage, they tend to endure with great strength. No known diseases have killed mature redwoods, nor do insects damage them. Fire is a killer of younger redwoods and other types of trees. But mature redwoods are very resistant. Their tough fibrous bark lacks resin, which fuels fire. With its thick bark, along with the content of tannin, redwoods are virtually fireproof. Because redwood trees are so tall and grow so close together, they form a very high canopy, towering above the other trees and plant life. The dense redwood forest filters out the sunlight, creating a dark, mystical forest. The forest floor is rich with plant life, covered with a thick green duff, and the abundance of tall sword ferns is apparent. Along with redwood sorrel and a variety of mosses, all have adapted to the shade. Five-fingered ferns seem to overtake the forest here in Fern Valley. and flowering shrubs fill the air with sweet smells in the spring, adding splashes of color to the green overgrowth. Wildlife hide among the greenery of the forest. Freshwater rivers feed this diverse land. The Smith River was named after Jedediah Smith, the great explorer of this area. The clear waters of this river provide a natural habitat to steelhead trout and salmon. Big leaf maples and alder trees beautify the scenery, and wildflowers flourish here. This is a sanctuary to many different species of birds. Elk grace the meadowlands, dancing in tune with the beauty of nature. These elk look shaggy as they are now losing their winter fur. The male elk are just beginning to grow a new rack of antlers. By autumn, the mature bull will grace a full rack. The singing birds break the quiet atmosphere of the dense forests. Ravens and Stellar's jays can also be found here, finding habitats within the many trees. Along the coast, sea lions can be seen lazily basking in the sun.